One thing you just mentioned, we were talking about this bridge that Arabs designed. Um, one of the things which they found was that the forces causing the oscillation weren't purely vertical, which is exactly. the way that... Exactly. Uh, because when people walk and run, they actually move from side to side. Yeah. Now, that may have some implications for your experiment on the ponytail oscillation. I wonder what would happen if you injected some sideways motion as well as the vertical one. Absolutely. There's, there's uh, definitely room uh, for including that as well. I think the, the fundamental point of view in the beginning, in Keller's analysis, we're actually reanalyzing things, was the recognition that it wasn't necessary to have any sideways motion to actually get, of the head, to actually get sideways motion of the ponytail. That it was a true instability, that if there were just the slightest imperfection in the upward and downward motion, that that would set in motion lateral behavior. But if there is large lateral motion, then the problem becomes very rich, I'm sure. Um, and we haven't explored it too much, but it's easy enough to, to begin to study. Yeah, I think I'm fascinated by how yeah. far you've got with such simple um, um, descriptions of, of, of what's going on in, in the ponytail. Um, well, in fact, when I showed the uh, video of the ponytail that was oscillated slowly, you saw this breathing motion. Yeah, and sure. if you think about it, that's basically fighting against this spring that's trying to uh, expand the ponytail. And so there's some equilibrium position. And as you move up and down, you oscillate against that spring. So that, that's a nice demonstration that there is a spring. Mm. Yeah, I thought that if, if there were some discrepancy between the experimental results and the mathematical analysis, injecting the sideways force into it might actually clear up some of those discrepancies. Yes, there's another feature that's important to consider, which is uh, part of the general subject of what is called herodynamics, um, <laughs> which is, um, I didn't just think of that, um, which is that, of course, the hair is moving around in air. And if I set it in motion and stop, it comes to rest in a few cycles. And that's because there's drag against the air. And actually understanding the physics of drag against air when the object moving is like this, composed of 10,000 hairs, is very complicated. Because you have to worry about whether the air is going around or going through. Yes, and that sir. actually can have a very big effect on the nature of the lateral instability. It gets even more fascinating.